What's up, everybody? You got the Raging Rob here, and we got a situation going on here in Michigan. As you know, I'm a gun rights activist. Um, I'm a gun rights activist. Always have been. I believe that an armed citizenry is a safer society. I believe in the Second Amendment. I'm a lifetime member of the NRA. But, you know, I'm all for open carry. I'm all for, you know, concealed carry. I'm all for lawfully owning guns. I believe that where the guns are, people are safer. But I believe in doing it, you know, in the right way, lawfully way. I have trigger locks for my guns. I own a slew of guns and ammo, but I got trigger locks for my guns. I have gun locks. You know, I got children in my family. I, I got, uh, when they come over, I got, you know, I lock up my guns. You know, I, I never had an accident in my family. But anyway... There's a group going around Michigan. They call themselves Liberty is for Everyone. And they're taking shit a little too far. Now, I've supported these guys in the past. I've subscribed to the channel in the past. They used to walk around Detroit, you know, open carrying their rifles, which I'm all for that, you know, protecting businesses and informing citizens of their rights and, uh, and so forth. But the past few months, they've been, I, I guess their YouTube channel, I guess they figure is getting boring. And... They've been up in a notch and not in a good way. Now they're, you know, they had one video where they basically were uh, walking in front of the uh, Canadian, the, the, tu the tunnel there in downtown, downtown Detroit. Federal agents shut down the uh, tunnel they had, and they had have to shut down the border because uh, they felt threatened. They were walking on a church property or a public sidewalk in front of a church. And the federal agents there, seeing all these armed men, they shut down the border. And there was one video where they're walking inside, or walking in front of Jackson uh, Prison in Michigan, and uh, sirens start going off. They're taking shit a little too far. But what I seen yesterday was absolute ridiculous. I've been watching these guys for a while. Yeah, I'm against gun control, but there's a limit that you take things. They're taking shit too far. So. Anyway, I'm off for gun rights, and, you know, these are my toys. I got here an AR-15 with the pistol grip. Got some extra mags for it. I got a Glock 22 40 caliber. These right here are high-capacity magazines, 32 rounds each. I got, fuck, these are just, these are just a few of what I have. I have a slew. But anyway, I got a SD-40VE, 13-round magazine, extra. And I got a 12 gauge shotgun. I also have, you've probably seen this one before in some of my videos, the Pink Lady 38 caliber. And I got a 12 gauge shotgun that can uh, shoot off six rounds at once. So these are just a few of my toys. I got many more. But anyway, let's get to the video. Let's let's uh let's see what we got here. So anyway, this got they went viral. They've already been in the news, but this went this went pretty viral. This is a Facebook page of one of the guys. He says support the troops, but this guy, yeah, let's see what we got. He, he was uh, trying to get people to translate stuff. He was trying to get somebody to translate, um, fuck the police in Arabic. I mean, that's a good way to end up on the terrorist watch list. Open carry Dearborn police station. This is, this comes off their Facebook. This is, this is the kind of shit that I'm talking about. These. So we're here. Outside the Dearborn Police Station, we're going to go. Let me stop right there. There's another video where they get... Initially what happened was they were in a park. They were in a park in Dearborn. And somebody called 911 because they seen masked men with guns. Which, yeah, that's going to spark an alarm. You see a mass in this day and age of terrorism or whatever. You see a couple of guys dressing up in you know masks like, like I just showed you. And... They're carrying guns. You're thinking, oh my God, these guys are going to commit a mass murder. You don't know. You got to. You, and I think the police were in the right. And I think citizens that called 911 was in the right. You know, I think that's the right thing to do because you never know in this day and age. You want to, you know what I mean? They're taking shit too far. And this is just. Well, let me see what we got here. Let's go to. Uh, let's go to the traffic stop. So anyway, the police were called. They tried to find them at the park. They didn't find them at the park. They found them a couple of miles away. They pulled them over. Just to see what was going on. Well, the driver had a problem with that. So, let's go to that video. Uh, where is it at? 
This is the video where they get pulled over. Yeah, they're taking it cautious. I mean, that, I would too, you know. These guys are not helping the cause. They're destroying our cause. Because of these assholes, we're going to lose open carry in Michigan. They're taking shit too far. Police harassment. Bullshit. They had every right to pull them over. Uh, David, you just got pulled over for nothing? Pulled over for nothing? No. I don't answer. You got pulled over because you were putting on masks and waving guns around. That's why you got pulled over. And police want to ask you what the hell's going on. They have every right to pull you over and detain you when they have the suspicion that a crime is being committed. That's a perfectly legal traffic stop. Questions. Are we done here or not? We haven't done anything wrong. We haven't broken any laws. You might not have broken any laws, but you are raising an alarm and suspicion. That's, we're, we're done with this. I absolutely do. You, you are not searching anything. Let me go on my way. Let me be free to go. Because we've done, we've broken no laws. You know this. This is a, an illegal detention. No, this is not an illegal detention. The police have a right to detain you if they suspect a crime is going to be committed. Okay? This is not an illegal detention. At this point, you, you better get your shit straight. Just... You better get your shit straight, buddy. If you got nothing to worry about... Why are you why are you bothering? You know what, what the hell's the matter with this guy? You know I respect law enforcement. Obviously these guys don't. Look at their YouTube channels. They hate cops. It's clear they hate cops. We're done. If you wish to file a complaint. Oh, I will file a complaint. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Like right as soon as we leave here. You, you understand? Am I free to go or not? Good. Go well, fuck yourself. You see, that's the way they treat cops. I was right. That's the way they treat cops. Make sure you have your seatbelt on. Yeah. This is the way they treat cops. No, you're the fucking asshole. You know, these guys... I, I see... They're going to keep this shit up like this. I'm going to show you the other video, which is more disturbing. Guys like this, you know, they don't, they're make, they're, they're a disgrace to the Second Amendment. The guys like this don't deserve to have guns. They're doing it wrong. Fuck you, you jack boot piece of shit. Yep, that's the way they treat cops, Fuck huh? Fuck you. That was, that... And this is why the left hate gun owners. Right here. This is making us look bad because of shitheads like this. I don't know if you stopped. It's okay. One <laughs> minute. Okay, this is, I'm going to show you the next video. That's the one that got all over viral. And they make it sound like they're the fucking victim. You know, my, you know, it's ridiculous. Here it is. So we're here. So they're here at the Dearborn Police Department. They want to file a complaint because they thought they were being harassed. Boo hoo. So this is the way they go inside the De Dearborn Police Department. Because they wanted to intimidate the cops. Dearborn Police Station. We're gonna go in and uh, file a complaint because we were illegally pulled over. By no, you Mexico. aren't. Isn't that right, Brandon? That's 100% accurate. Yeah. Okay. 100% accurate. Bullshit. We felt uh, a little afraid for our lives. When we... Yeah, you didn't feel afraid for your lives. You're armed to the fucking teeth. You got more guns on you than somebody out of the movie The Purge. Okay. You look like something out of the movie The Purge. You got more guns on you than the game, damn cops. And you're going to tell me, don't bullshit me, asshole. Okay, you're going to say you're afraid for your life. Go fuck yourself. We were pulled over, so. Yeah, we were okay. Protect ourselves. Protect, yeah. What a bunch of bullshit. Listen to these fucking retards. Bunch of fucking idiots. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And you know, they're walking in the police department with mask, full body armor, head to toe, and I'm not going to say assault rifles, that's a liberal term, but I'm going to say it, assault rifles, AK-47, AP-14. I'm sorry, but if I see somebody walking in a mall 
looking like that, what's the first thing that's going to come across your mind? Oh my God. You can hear, just, just watch the video, you can hear the fear in these cops' voice. I don't care. I, in January 2011, I was robbed at gunpoint. I had a gun put to the back of my head. And let me tell you, the shit that goes through your brain when you think you're about five minutes away from dying, you, your, body goes, your body reacts a certain way. It goes into survival mode. Let me just say that. I was carjacked at the age of 18. I was robbed at gunpoint. I had a gunpoint to the back of my head in January 2011. I think I was like 28 at the time. 2011, I think. Yeah, 28. Because I was born in 82 of October. But anyway, I've been in that position where you think you're going to die within the next five minutes. You're, you react a certain way. And I can't even tell you how do you react. You react a certain way. I've been in that situation. Dude, put that on the ground. Put it on the ground. Put it on the ground. I'm not trying to put it on the ground, man. Put it on the ground or you are dead. Listen, I will shoot you. I will put a round in you, sir. Wow. This is not what I stand for. Barrel down, set it down, step back. You're carrying a sidearm as well. It's all you can hear the fear in her voice. Sir, drop the fucking gun on your on your side now. I don't drop the gun on your side now. What's the matter with you? 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 I mean. And they're asking, I mean, they're, and the one guy's yelling at the cops as it's happening. I mean, goddamn, are you asking to get shot? Get it off! 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 Get it I mean, shit. It makes me think. Do, do they have a wife and kids that say, hey, dad, you know, husband, you can't do something like this. Do they have a mom and dad that say, what the, son, what the fuck are you thinking? You know, do they have something, a conscience that says, well, maybe this is going too far. These guys do it like nonchalant. Like they don't even have a brain that tells them, hey, we can't do this. It's insane. I mean, goddamn. It, wow. I mean, you can hear the fear in the cop's voice. Let's look at this. Put it down. Dude, it, put that on the ground. Put it on the ground. Put it on the ground. I'm not trying to put it on the ground, man. Put it on the ground or you are dead. Listen, I will shoot you. I will put a round in you. Jesus Christ. This is WXYZ Detroit. This is their news report. A terrifying situation for police officers in Dearborn. Open carrying I've been listening to the I've been watching these guys headquarters heavily armed wearing ski masks. I've been watching these guys since I was a kid. This WXYZ Detroit. I grew up in the suburbs of Detroit. Dearborn. Open carry advocates walk into police headquarters. I got a minute and a half left wearing ski masks. Now the man says it was an active protest, but police have a oh, bullshit take on this. Seven Action News reporter Kim Russo has the story now from Dearborn. It started when someone called 911. They saw two suspicious men outside a business. We were pulled over, so we figured we'd better protect ourselves. Oh, shut this the fuck up, bitch. This is a video posted on YouTube by a man known for his open carry protests. Dude, put that on the ground. Anyway. Fuck, where's the YouTube channel? This is their YouTube channel, Liberty is for Everyone. I gotta finish this up, 15 minutes. Anyway, come on. Liberty is for Everyone, they got a YouTube channel doing this shit. This is their YouTube channel, so check them out. Oh, that's, wait, that's the wrong one. Hold on, that's, I'll press the door. Okay, here we go. That's their intro. So put your comments below. What do you think? I'll put the uh, this, I'll put the uh, links in the uh, description below. That's this is them. So. With the real control in America or not, All right. Peace. The people with